Hi guys, welcome back to Live to Blend. Today I have another video for you. I am doing a craft beer sampling review and also I have some pizza here and some onion rings. Here we go, let's get started. I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, let me go with this one. This is called Neapolitan Milk Stout. See that there? I like the label, it's cute and pink. That doesn't mean anything, right? So let's see here, it's by, this was brewed in Michigan. And the alcohol level is 6.0. Get my handy dandy opener here. And let's see what that looks like. First, let me smell it. Hmm. Smells like sweet, kind of. Oh, it's dark. Oh wow, it's it's dark. Do you see that? Let me pour a little bit more so you can see. Wow, it's like soda. <laughs> see that? Yep. All right, let's try it. It's not as strong as it looks. It's actually pretty pretty smooth. It's not so bad, actually. I'm getting like a nutty flavor, like an aftertaste of like a nutty nuttiness. It's smooth. Smooth, but yeah, I do taste that at 6.0 alcohol level. Um, so yeah, so it's not so bad. Let me have him chase it down with an onion ring. <laughs> and they're good. So, milk stout, Neapolitan milk stout. Great labeling. Love it. Eye catching. That's why I bought it. Um, just a little. Too thick for me. Um, this company is out of Douglas, Missouri, and it's Salga. I can't pronounce it. It's Salgatuck Brewing Company. Yeah, there you go. So that's that one. All right, I'm gonna take a slice of my pizza. Pizza, pizza. All right, let's see. Mm, why don't we do the crisp? Yeah, let's do this one. Winter Greens. And this is by Victory. I like this brand. I've tried it before. Not this, the, um, the flavor. But I, I've tried this brew brewery before. And it's very good. It's this is called Winter Greens, and alcohol level here. I don't see it. Oh, six point seven. Tis the season. There you go. Let's try crack this bad boy open. So this is much later compared to the other one. Let me just put them side by side so you can see the difference there. See that? Yeah. So let's try it. It's actually pretty good. Like this is good with this. I would definitely order this with onion rings and pizza, like a Friday night, hanging out. Like this is a good, good comfy beer. Casual beer. It actually pairs well with this, with this pizza. Take a bite. Mm. 
Hmm. Yeah. So that's um Winter Greens by Victory. It's actually it's pretty good. I like that. Winter Cheers. It's Winter Cheers. <laughs> I apologize. Winter Cheers. Alrighty. Sorry, Victory. <laughs> Next one. Mm. Since we're on a winter theme, let's try this winter rental. So that's what that is there. And it's by Beach House Brew Brewery. I always have a hard time saying that word. Brewery. Brewery. Here you go. It looks like it's going to be another dark one, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Alrighty. Mm, it smells. Oh, yeah, it is. See that? It's a dark one. If I had to pick between this dark one and this one, I would have to go with this one actually. Just because I'm just getting into the beer, the beers. I, I'm, I'm usually a wine drinker, but now I'm transitioning into beer and I'm just learning about them. And maybe my taste buds will change later on in a year or so, but right now, if I had to pick, I would go with this one. It's a lot lighter than this guy here. So I'd definitely go with this, my opinion. I mean, I'd definitely go with that one. So, I mean, it doesn't look any lighter. I mean, they're both the same, but I don't know, maybe a little darker, this guy, but. Alrighty, so, so far we've tried the winter rental. Winter cheers, not greens. <laughs> That's weird. And we have the Neapolitan milk stout. And there you go. And an onion ring. Mm-hmm. I just love onion rings. Oh, I didn't show you my pizza slice. This one. Banana peppers. My fave. And it's well done. Nice and crispy. Mmm. Okay. Doctoberfest. Marzen. It's by the Flying Dog. Five point five point six alcohol. Doctoberfest. There we go. Let's try this one. I like the labeling. It's cute, funky. See that? Stockfish. I think this is one of my husband's favorites. Let's see. Ooh, it's like amber-ish. Like an amber, amber color there. Mm. Really good. It's smooth. I like that. Tasty, tasty. This one's actually right up there with the um, winter cheers. What do we have next here? Easton Brown and Down. That's right here. That's locally. Right here. Easton PA. Literally like 20 minutes from me. See that there? Wirebacker. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. If you liked it, if I should do more of these reviews, let me know. I could do wine ones too. Any ideas you guys have like for reviews, comment below. Let me know and I'll do it. Okay. Like that sound. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's see. Okay. Ooh, it's another dark one, guys. It's a dark one. You know what, I, I can't tell the difference between this one and this one. I don't know if it's the onion rings, the pizza, but to me, they, they're like similar. I'm not really of a dark beer person. Maybe that's why I can't tell the difference, but it's good. The more I drink it, the more I get the flavors, and it's not, it's actually, it's pretty good. Okay, put that aside. Take a bite of my pizza. Last one. Dirty little freak. <laughs> Dirty little freak. That's what that is. It's 5.8. Alcohol. Let's try this bad boy. Here we go. Ooh, it's another rich one. Let's try and put this up here so you can see it. There we go. And let's try it. I can, I don't know, like nutty. Okay, not my number one. Um, it's really strong flavors here. Not that, it's just strong, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just, um, you have to be like an experienced stout drinker um, and you gotta love your dark beers to have this guy. Um, I just, it's, it's a little too much for me, but um, I love the, the name is kind of cool though. I can see why they um, get your attention there, right? To get it, I like the, the labeling. But um, it's just, it, again, it's in that family. And this, if I would have to choose out of the stouts here, this would be my last one, sorry. But again, I'm not an expert at these stouts. So I'm just going by what I like what I, my opinion. So there you have it. I need to chase it with an onion ring. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Winter Cheers, number one for me. Love it, so good, by Victory. Number two is the Flying Dog the Flying Dog Doc Doctoberfest. I don't know why I get tongue twisted with this one, but this is not. It's really good as well. It's my number two. Number three of the Stouts family, which would be number one in the Stout, is my Winter Rental by Beach House. That's my number one in the Dark Stout family. Number two is Easton Brown and Down by Weyerbacher, which is in my neighborhood here. Number three is the Neapolitan Milk Stout, which is by Saugatuck Brewing Company. And last is the Dirty Little Freak by Duclaw Brewing Company. And there you have it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think and what other reviews you think I should do. And I will see you. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. See you guys.